my factory in Miami was basically, we're not used to getting big binders like this in Miami. We get probably a binder that big. So what we do is we use double, what you call double binders. So you would set one first with another one underneath. And you use that as, you know, that, that's your binder. And something that is different from the methods that I learned and the method that we use in Cuba is, uh, here we use a, a base. Um, you want me to show them the base or yeah, see that after? Yeah, you're going to see that after. Okay, so the, the way that I'm going to show you is, I guess, the traditional way or the Cuban way um, of making a cigar. Basically, is all your fillers, you, you, you tube in each individual leaf. And, you know, once you get all your leaves together for whatever blend it is that you're doing, all that gets put on your binder and it gets rolled up. As opposed to a method like he's doing. So look at here. He has a, uh, instead of using the double binder, he has two binders now. He's starting with a base new, and he has one binder down already. Okay? So moving back to Willie, he's starting with two binders and he's going to start the intubalo straight away without that base leaf, which we'll see in a second again. Maybe what, what, what you want to do is when you're when you're punching your tobaccos, you don't want to stack them one on top of another. You want to basically form kind of like a little triangle type. Thing. Thing once you're punching, you know, when you start punching your tobaccos. Okay, now all this will go on your binder. This would all get rolled up. And you have your cigar and then put in your molds. Just, it took me a little while to learn that way of having that you know additional leaf already set in your hand, that base, and then rolling the binder together with the base to wrap up all of your fillers. Now this step here is a final step that we do to kind of take off all the edges of the, of the head so that once you put it into your mold, it'll give you a really round head.
that so every all of the leftovers of the tobacco on each table, everybody has a bag. So whether it's the roller or the puncher, so that's collected at the end of the end of the day. Okay? The wrapper is collected periodically when the bags are filled up. That tobacco wrapper, the second cuts, is then sent back to the room where it's in, it's resorted to see if we can pull out any smaller wrappers, if they're say a four by three, two, uh, shorter sizes, otherwise it might go to the binder, or otherwise it goes into the packaging of acid boxes, tobacco cookie out, you see that they're, they're lined with, that is normally wrapper or binder tobacco that's used for those boxes. The filler, that chopped up filler is sent back and also is mixed and blended to make a short fill cigar. With the exception of Papa Frigas. Papa Frigas is part of the Ligabrata line. So from all the Ligabrata tape, all of the second cuts of that short fill, that's sent back and then it's resorted again. He's trying to pull out some of the Seiko, the lighter leaf from it, and then that is put back in the short fill and made the Papa Frigas. Okay, so there's a little bit much more extra step that's taken into making sure that blend is 